Hello, welcome to Simple Pottering Days Part 3. If you've missed Parts 1 and 2, click on the links above. shock over. Oh dear. Wow. Whenever I go off the boat, um, I also have a yellow floating safety line attached to me in some way. Um, I haven't tangled in it yet, um, but I'm always very careful with it so I don't stray far when I'm at anchor. That lasted all of seven minutes. I am such a wuss. God, it was cold. Ooh. I've really got a tough one. I'm getting such a softy. Some would use the term invigorated. Uh, I'm slightly still cold after that. It was quite a swim, very cold, colder than I was expecting, but uh, refreshing, I suppose. And now it's time to uh, make our way out of here. I cheated, I've just motored out here into the bay to raise the sails. Um, it was a tad crowded in there with shifting winds, so I wasn't 100% confident in getting out in town. Straight ahead of us, you can just make out two red boats. I might have said when we were pottering up the plume earlier this morning that um, it's where they have the drone boat, um, and that looks like it, the one in front. They've been um, piloting and testing this technology from a base um, in Turn Chapel um, self autonomous drone boats so that you can uh, have the pilot of the boat literally on shore or on another ship. Um, there's quite a lot of interest in it, um, military and commercially. It's just beginning to get some cloud banks, slight sea mists rolling in now. Uh, high tides around about nine o'clock tonight um, and low tides around about three o'clock so I think we've got about an hour to go before low tide. Um, and the slipway I'm using um, I can get on to it just about, just about um, two hours, um, so around about five, half five-ish I expect. Um, uh, and I should then be able to uh, get it back on the trailer with no problem at all. Fort Picklecum, it's got a nice little beach with it, um, private beach. Uh, you should just be able to see that private harbour and beach behind me now as we're going past. Making quite a good pace at the moment. Uh, practically not quite downwind, um, but ticking along fairly nicely. And I've still got the outboard down, so there's that the extra drag of that as well. There's the bridges, and I'm just trying to work out whether I'm going to make a turn in a second and cut through them, or whether I'm going to go 
to the east of Drake's Island and come in from that side. I haven't quite decided yet. The bridges would be fun. The eastern side would be safe. Burr. Ah, sometimes you've got to live a little, haven't you? Okay, let's see what happens. Loads of excuses now. In my excitement of three jibes, I've just realised that I forgot to film myself coming through the passage of the bridges. I'm really sorry about that. That's a lovely little boat in front of us, isn't it? I don't know what that is, but sweet. Now, for some daft reason, I've just had this madcap idea of sailing up to and stopping alongside those mooring boys ahead. One yacht tried it three times and missed it, so I'm going to give it a go, just for the fun of it. make this and I'm, I'm just pinching too much and I've got this last of the outgoing tide is just pushing me off I didn't didn't quite get that right I'm gonna go around again rats well there's the beach we're aiming for um, I've never been in before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, but we'll run down this way a bit and then see if we can approach it and get in, drop sails, and then um, I'm hoping to use my bungee cord anchor, my anchor buddy, uh, and just paddle her in, step off, and uh, she should then just stretch back out. That's the theory, anyway. Welcome to Drake's Island. First time I've landed on it. Been here 12 years sailing and I've never landed on Drake's Island. So there we go. It's been an outward bound centre. It's had plans for hotels. It's been a fort. Um, you can tour it. Uh, to see the Napoleonic gun chambers, gun emplacement. And there are plans to turn it into another hotel, but at the moment the people who own it are allowing people onto the island and are also doing tours. 
uh, dead ahead of you through the gap, uh, western end of the breakwater, and just in front of the paddleboard, as you can see, the shark's teeth, which lead across towards Mount Edgecombe, hence the bridges. And then if I spin around, over there, over the rocks, is the mouth of the Tamar, with Cremel, and then you go around a big bend and up to the Royal Dockyard. That's Mill Bay Docks, straight ahead of you, uh, where you saw the ferry going in this morning. And then we come around to the iconic home. And then way over in the distance, cap down where we started the morning. Absolutely brilliant. A first. A nice sandy beach sheltered from southwesterlies and a great view of the Plymouth skyline. to go. I'll leave it to the paddle boarders and come back another time when it's quieter. Um, we'll just sail off across the hole and then we'll drop sails at the entrance to the cat down. Uh, just behind that breakwater there is where Plymouth um, lifeboats are based, um, offshore and inshore. Up on the hoe there, you can see um, some big hotels with scaffolding. The one to the left of the one which has got scaffolding. Um, that's where we celebrated Millennium Eve. Plymouth was doing the biggest millennium ever, like, fireworks display. Um, and thousands, I mean tens and tens and tens of thousands came up New Year's Eve to the hoe for that, for that millennium uh, New Year's Eve. Um, and they set off the fireworks only, somebody had forgotten that the cloud base was, <laughs> was less than 100 feet. So what we saw was multi-technicolour clouds, but absolutely no fireworks whatsoever. Um, it was wasted anyway, because by 11 o'clock our two kids were only about five and three, they'd fallen asleep completely anyway, so... <laughs> um, but the following morning, you could have walked from one end of the hoe to the other and never touched tarmac. The number of glass bottles, it was one hell of a party, that's all I can say. You couldn't find an inch of tarmac under the, the bottles which were just left lying on the ground. It was, um, Plymouth knows how to party. Well, here we are. Been one of those great little day sails. Plenty to see, loads to do. Thanks for joining me and Arwen. Um, we'll see you out on the water again soon. Take care, fair winds to you all. <laughs>